Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to show you an easy way to find base circle. So this is the old cam. There's the top of the lobe. What we're wanting to find is the very bottom, the smallest part. This part down here, directly across from here. So what we're wanting to do, we're going to turn the crank until the lifter is on the highest point, and then I'm going to rotate it halfway around, and I'll know I'll be directly across from it on the low point. There's the high point. We're going to start there, and we're going to rotate it halfway around, and exactly halfway around is the heel of the base circle. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm not quite sure why most people use the EOIC method, exhaust, opening, intake, closing. So what they're doing is to find base circle of the intake, they're taking a push rod and putting it into the exhaust side and then turning it over until this just starts to move. Then they know this one's at base circle. And then conversely to that, when they want to find base circle of the exhaust, they're having to take a push rod over here, turn the crank until the exhaust opens and then almost closes. Kind of the opposite of this one. It's kind of a flip-flop back and forth. I don't quite understand why they do it that way. And I have a little bit of problem with it because your lobe separation angle between your intake and exhaust, that degree can vary. So you're ramping up one side of one lobe and making, fi finding a place on the other lobe when that angle is gonna be off. The base circle's pretty big. Maybe I'm worried about nothing, but I don't understand why they don't just do it my way. So let me show you what I mean. So I got a ratchet. I'm gonna put it on the crank, on the old, old dampener bolt. I'm gonna put my finger. Now, the rod is in the intake because that's the one we're wanting to find base circle on. I put my finger on it and I'm gonna rotate the crankshaft until the push rod pushes to the highest point of that lobe. And I can feel my finger moving. It's kind of dragging on the head. I'm just gonna wait till my finger stops Right there, actually, it might have even dropped a little bit down, but that's fine, just, just a smidgen. I just felt it crest. So I'm gonna take a pen and I'm just gonna mark the camshaft with the line straight up. The line straight up, the lifter is right on the point of the lobe. It's sitting right on the top of the lobe, the lifter. So all we wanna do now take that mark and rotate it 180 degrees make it point straight down it's now pointing straight down so that means the lobe of the cam has rotated and that lifter is now sitting on the back of the lobe in fact you'll hear my push rod drop when I push it it just dropped quite a bit so now I'm on the back side of that so now I can go ahead get my rocker, set it up, and start taking my measurements for push rod length. When you're done with the intake, you do the same thing with the exhaust. You put the push rod over here, you turn it till you find the top, you put a mark, make sure you erase your old one so you don't get them confused or use a different color or whatever. Rotate it until it starts pushing up on your finger and crest, mark straight up and down, then rotate it till it's straight down and you can take your measurement. So that works great if you have your timing cover off. Now, if you don't have anything off and you needed to find base circle, you could still do it. You could do it using the crank. What you would do, same idea, you would allow the push rod to come up and when the push rod peaked, you set your mark right on your crank or even on your ratchet, on the actual socket, as long as it doesn't come off. 
but this time you'll rotate the crank one full rotation. Because one full rotation of the crank is a half a rotation of your cam. It'll get it from the tip to the base by doing one full rotation. You could do it that way as well. So I think that's easier to understand instead of the flip-flop back and forth exhaust intake and which one's going up and which one's going down and all that so to me this is easier um, if I'm totally off my rocker on this hey let me know down in the comments um, I'd love to hear from you guys if you like my channel please check out my other videos I got a lot going on with this car and um, appreciate you having here have a great day bye